Hello again, I previously made a video on how to read default codes on a 2001 2.8 HDI Peugeot Boxer and a comparable Fiat JTDs. I was using this rather nice C Reader launch, quite an expensive bit of kit though, but it can read some of the codes, some of the DTC codes at least. There are much cheaper devices around, um, limited functionality. All I've been able to succeed in doing is simply clearing the fault code, but maybe that's all you need to do, so I thought I'd show you how to do that. Interestingly enough, these two cheap devices off eBay, this one will not work with this engine, this one will. So let's plug it in. Again, we're using the three pin connector as before, the three pin adapter. That's the vehicle harness coming up, three pins into the adapter. Around here, only the positive lead is connected, positive power lead, the negative is insulated, locked off. There we go, let's plug it in. Let's do it one handed, isn't it? Okay. Right, we'll start the read. Turn the ignition on. Yeah, we come in here. You can see the fault code generated over there. The fault light. Okay, it's been years since I've used this, but let's try it. Uh, the fault was I disconnected the manifold absolute pressure and air temperature sensor from the top of the engine. I've subsequently plugged it back in again so we can, can clear the fault code. Okay, just going through the menu. It's been a long time since I've read. I've used this machine. I think Try that. Oh, there are no codes. Well, there is some code there, isn't it? Again, this shows a very limited functionality of these. You know, we know there is an issue. And this device, this will actually tell you what the codes are. And there's multiple ones. There's air temperature ones and air pressures ones. And it'll tell you what they are. This machine isn't capable of doing that. However, what this can do, hopefully, is clear the code. Okay, let's go and check that. And it hasn't gone. Well, it worked last time. Let's just check I did actually fix the thing. Oh no, and there's a problem. I haven't actually fixed. There you go. But it's back on this time. There we go. So I'd still left the code, the fault in place. So as soon as we cleared it, the engine management system realized it still had a fault. So it generated the code again. Let's try again. Erase. Oh, we fixed it. And yep, yeah, it's gone. Excellent. So there you go. Now, in case it's not obvious, just to recap, those little leads, those adapter leads for the three pin connector. This is, this is what they look like. And this is the instructions for how to set them up. Yeah, just roll down there. Okay, I hope that's been useful.